welcome and how is everybody doing welcome i am your saturday night this is your saturday night and you know what we're doing today well hopefully you should know what we're doing today because it's your saturday night we're going to be doing some art we're going to be having some fun now this is actually the fourth live stream uh for this particular painting it's a really big painting and I, i'm taking my time you know, I'm taking a lot of time to do it, but sometimes that's what you got to do. Take your time and really make sure that everything is right. Uh, so that is actually what I have been doing. I've been taking my time. I've been working at this slow and steady, but you know. That's, that's the way it's got to be. Uh, so just a couple of quick things. There are captions. Should you want them or need them, please feel free to use them. We are in my studio. The only thing you're going to be seeing on uh, camera is a portion of this enormous painting uh, sleeping in the grass. So I realize, you know, you don't see much right now. There's just my painting here. And this is big. This is actually one of my sizable paintings. This is very large. Well, okay, it's not very large. I do much larger pieces sometimes, but they're usually very abstract. This is something which I have been taking my time doing. And it's uh, a lot closer to, you know, a... Um, I won't say realistic so much as just... it's. It's closer to being a more realistic painting. And uh, we're going to jump right in this. So right now, I'm just doing a little bit of prep. Um, as I said, like this is the fourth video in the series uh, for this particular painting. So there's a bunch of things I need to do to really get it to start to pop. I hope you're doing very well today. Do forgive me. I'm going to be talking as much as I can, well I can, as we move through this art piece. There's going to be a lot of layers i mean this actually has a lot of layers already but we're going to be putting some more layers on it today as i start to bring it closer to the point where you know maybe one day in the future we could say this is done. And I do mean that very sincerely. I mean, one day in the future, this piece will be done. That day is not today. One thing that I've always known in regards to this piece is that it would be time consuming. I mean, I don't often do things that are 
I guess, that you could consider super realistic that aren't sketches. Like, my sketches, I will do super realistic. But... For my paintings, I'm usually... Okay, actually, no. I, I'm not I'm not going to amend that statement. It's going to sit where it is. But... The truth of the matter is that I just... You know, when it comes to my paintings, I, that's just not something I normally do. I don't focus on trying to get that realism that real big pop of oh my goodness yay that's just never been on my mind as you know seeming to be really important but for this particular piece i do want to try i do want to try to get closer to some realism. But it's going to take time. As I do things like play with where are my shadows and everything else. That's actually been one of the big holdups on this piece is trying to think like where are all my shadows? Where are all my light sources? Where do I need to think about light pouring over um, the figure's face? So, it's something I'm still working on. But, we are actually starting to progress in a lot of ways to getting that feeling of more complete. But there's some spaces that I really need to brighten up as we go. So that's something I'm starting to work on a little bit more. Uh, when all is said and done, you know, this painting is going to end up with a lot of layers. And I, I realize that. So early on, I ended up darkening a lot of this in way too much. So I'm working on lightening some of that up. We will be coming in and darkening things in again as we move forward. But for right now, I just need to start creating some of those spaces of light. Wherever the light might be hitting her. You know, uh, so it's kind of what I'm working on right now. Making some spaces where I know the light is definitely going to be striking various parts of her skin. Now, it's not all going to stay this way, but I need to really improve some of this so that's just 
something I'm working on today. And I realize this is all really like thin layers of paint right now. It's not like I'm pushing this really hard. Not like I could, you know. Not like I will as it moves forward. So, just a little bit. <clears throat> when it comes to paintings of this style, of this uh, variety, you have to be prepared for a certain level of mistake and I don't think I made enough room when I started this for you know the natural kind of errors that you would see So I'm slowly going to build upward to get more of those natural errors and blemishes. I don't want her to look quite as perfect as she does right now. Because I'm going to be really fair with you, like right now, her skin is unnaturally immaculate. Uh, part of her face is going to be obscured by grass. A lot of her body is going to be obscured as well. So I need to start doing things in regards to the light, where it hits, where it definitely doesn't hit. And where I'm going to need it to hit a little harder. Even her nails need touch-ups of sorts. She needs touch-ups all over the place. We're going to get them. So, thank you for joining me. Uh, if you're up to anything spectacular, do not be afraid to uh, say what you're doing, what you're up to, uh, how you've been. If there's anything particular in your life right now which is really worth noting. There's going to be a lot of layers. I mean, as it is, like I said, this is already the fourth live stream. I've already been doing a lot in regards to, like, adding a lot of layers
you know, and that's that's going to continue. We're going to end up with a lot of layers. And a lot of kind of color shift. As I get deeper and deeper into the varying aspects of my uh, sleeper in the grass. And paintings like this, they represent a lot of things. They represent my enjoyment for with art, you know. It's my um, happiness to create. You bear with me while we kind of have varying moments of the creative process explored. So as I kind of decide like where certain shadows should lie. Which is something that, you know. It takes time. Sometimes a lot of time. I, I realize that, like, right now, I'm sh I'm very reflective. But it's going to help get me to the final kind of look that I want. Which, to be fair, is going to take time. There's some spots I really need to darken in. Others that I really have to take my time on. The final layers of what's eventually going to be the grass, those are coming dead last in this entire endeavor. But I have kind of the colors and everything that I'm 
hoping for as I move forward. We have a lot to do. A lot to do, but also a lot of time to do it in. None of this needs to be done today. Uh, as it is, I've already taken several videos to get here, several live streams. Uh, thank you so much, and thank you for joining. Yeah. Four videos in, and you know we're starting to really get what this piece is going to eventually be. It's going to take a lot of time. I mean, it's going to take a lot of time. <laughs> oh, but that's part of the fun, you know? Part of the fun, part of the enjoyment, part of the experience as... We really come to understand what will be this piece. There's going to be a lot of steps between now and when we're done. What is it? Um, four, three or four hours already to get here. Yeah, it's about that. about three or four hours just to get here and uh there i i will actually make a proper um series just for this video which does not exist just yet but it will so it will take some time but we are on our way. I think that in itself is actually one of the more important bits. We're on our way. Just a happy little sleeper in the grass. It takes a lot of steps to get to your final point. Takes a lot of work to get here. But we're getting there.
And there's still a lot to come. Still a lot to do. So we're going to get there maybe a little slowly, very steady. I guess you could say we're taking our time in a way. Really taking our time. Lots of little layers, lots of little bits. There's a lot of things that I have to do to really get all of this to pop. But we're going to get there. We are going to get there. every little bit of reflection and shade. Every little bit of light. And there will be a lot of light. I can tell you that now. But right now, what I need more than anything in the world is to just work some little moments. We have many little moments to work.
It's a lot of mixing right now. A lot of deciding what our tones are going to be. A lot of real slow, careful blending. There's a lot of mixing required. So I know parts of her are starting to look a little weird. But that is... kind of adjustments to make some of where shades and things are going to be make more sense. So, just lots of little moments to heighten what is already present. And it really is. It's a lot. It's a lot. I know it's a lot. And I'm very grateful that you stick through me while we do what is tangibly a lot to be done. Right now, she's going to be very dappled, very um, multi-tonal. But that, again, it's just part of kind of getting to where we want to be. So there's actually a lot of spots on her skin that I do need to fix as I go along. 
and I'm trying my best to get those here. But it's a lot to do. One does not simply wake up and say, "Oh, a masterpiece." I wish that would be so convenient. I heard a uh, very interesting kind of I guess frame of thought or reference or I don't know what you'd call it. I heard a painter say something which of course stuck with me pretty well for numerous reasons. There's no such thing as uh, skin color doesn't exist. There's just colors. And I heard that and I, I thought about it and I gave it some consideration and in a lot of ways, I mean, it really made sense. There's not exactly skin colors, per se. There's various shades of people. When you're painting, you really need to avoid certain mindsets to create something uniquely beautiful. So in many ways, it's more useful It's more useful to really consider aspects of what you're doing. Not the more stringent kind of strictures that we get from everything, but consider the light. Consider the light and the fabric and the sheen of a body. Consider reflections and There's so many other things. There's a lot of other things to think about in the makeup of a human being. No, I'm...
definitely no expert in the means of how to paint a person or how to show a body. I do have some acquaintance with the concept. Sorry about that. Now where were we? Oh yes, art. I am definitely not a uh, expert in all of these things. But I definitely try to create something beautiful now and again. We'll move further along, and everything here will look better as we move further along. Right now, we have a lot of rough spots to get through. I know they're rough spots. But we're going to get there. Little by little. Bit by bit. say we're already doing quite well in the little by little and the bit by bit. We have a lot of little by little to get through, a lot of bit by bit. Huh. 
And for now, I do my best. To capture some of those really interesting tones and shifts of the skin and of the body. So we're going to have a lot of tones and a lot of color shifts. there's going to be a lot to admire here. as I try to capture all the little flecks of light. All the little aspects of the human feature. lot to be done. Now in terms of the hair, I'm going to use a lot of license. But it's going to take a lot of layers to really hit home with what I'm trying to do. And by the time we finally make it to where we're starting to finish up, it's at that point that all of this will really have taken shape.
a lot to be done. And actually, as this starts to dry, I'm starting to see more and more of what I want. And less and less of what I don't. Lighten this up a little bit more. A lot of shading to be done in this which does not all happen at the same time Definitely a lot of shading. And I'm sure now at this point in time you can see a lot of different kind of lighting effects going on amongst other things.
this is definitely a kind of a kind of painting that I really enjoy being able to do. But to be really fair, it's not something I get to do as often as I would like. This can take a long time, obviously. But even at this point in time, I'm sure you're starting to see like kind of where we're going to. Or at least hopefully you can. Lots of blending. Lots and lots and lots of blending. So whether it's been three hours or four hours, now we're coming up on four or five hours to work on this. We're going to go a little bit longer, and I think that will be it for today.
lots of areas of light and reflection that just start to make things really fun. Now this is not for our character, but I actually want to go ahead and get some more yellow tones out on this grass or where the grass is going to be once we're ready to get there. They are really moving right along here. Oh. By the time I eventually reach the end of this painting, it's actually going to be a pretty nice piece of artwork, I think. really leaning into a lot of various things that I find interesting on this. And even though we're not going to see the arm, um, getting a little bit more of that color there, because her arm is going to be kind of overwhelmed by grass. So I'm just going to get a little bit of a few things in here in regards to kind of her positioning. So that once we get to some of the more interesting aspects of everything, you know, we're going to be really well covered. It's just a bunch of stuff I want to make sure is there.
This is actually looking really cool to me. Uh, we're well on our way to a completed piece. Um, I have a lot of wet paint on here, so I'm going to let this settle for just a moment. As I get closer and closer to doing more things that I guess would exist in the space of semi-realistic artwork, you know, I really start to consider a lot of different things that perhaps I wouldn't have in the past. And I'm really liking kind of some of the ways that I'm finding it's really easy to really easy to um, get some of those patterns find some of those patterns. going to end up in a really good space here. Like in all seriousness, the further I move forward with this, the better it's looking and the happier I am as uh, the creator. And, you know, I just, I'm kind of proud of myself that I was able to get to kind of this point in this uh, creative process where I could do something like this. And each of these little kind of things that I do here, you know, they're bringing more of more of the process to life. Is it perfect? No. In its current state, am I really happy? I am. And I have only upward to go from here with my sleeper in the grass. gotten a lot done I'm gonna just do a couple more things really quick 
and then it will be off and away for the day. Because when it comes to deciding where my lighting was, deciding, you know, how to kind of show certain aspects of this. I think it's been nailed. Do we still have a lot to do? Yep. But uh, this has been the fourth live stream for the sleeper in the grass. I'm gonna make a playlist just for this uh, at some point in the near future. We are getting closer and closer to the done point. And um, yeah, uh, video number four, well, fourth live stream, I'm going to make a compilation at some point in the future of these. I don't know if I want to wait till I'm done with the piece or if it's something I want to do ahead of time. I don't know if I want to make like a multi-part series. Uh, I don't actually know how long it's going to take me to finish this painting. Uh, I could always call it done at any point, like the last point I was at. I could have called it done. But in getting back to it and doing what I have, I think I've achieved some really good things. There's certain aspects of this that I want to put more time into. You know, I do want to kind of create like grass that's starting to kind of swallow her up as she sleeps on this lawn or in this field, wherever it may be. And I want to add some more uh, various uh, tones and shifts of the light on her face. Do a little bit more with her hair. Um, give her some eyelashes. Uh, maybe do a little more shaping on her nose. Because the way it is, I don't really like it. I don't, I, I won't say I dislike it. I just don't like it. I don't think that it's done. Um, and there's a couple other things, like some of these shadows are really hard, uh, but the Sleeper in the Grass, it's a very large painting, um, right here, right now, very large. Uh, honestly, I, I would have to look, I would have to measure it to tell you how big it is. But this is actually what I want to say. If you have been watching these live streams, or if you uh, just enjoy what I do, you can always uh, follow me on um, Instagram uh, or, or Twitter uh, or TikTok or YouTube. In YouTube, I am Your Saturday Night, and I have, I have hundreds of videos on YouTube. And if you subscribe, you get to check out all these cool art videos as they come out, uh, and you get my eternal thanks. I have my website and all these other things. If you would like to see this piece finished amongst tons of other work that I am doing finished, hit that follow button wherever you are right now. Subscribe. Um, check out my website. Buy something. Anything that you do goes to continuing my creation of art and my sharing of that art with all of you. And uh, even though this piece is not done yet, if anyone is interested in purchasing this uh, big canvas painting, uh, knowing that it's probably going to be a while till it's finished, uh, you can do so. You can go ahead and you can contact me uh, about any of my paintings. And uh, we'll, we'll discuss what that looks like. However, I would like to wish you all the extremely best, the very best, be excellent, my friends. I will see you all again very soon. And uh, we'll finish this painting up at some point in the near future.
I don't know when. Some point. <laughs> Take care. I will see you all again real soon. Yeah. Happy weekend. Happy Saturday. <laughs>